Hi there, I'm Elizabeth Holmes of the Wall Street Journal, and this is how to make homemade Valentine's Day gifts. Lovers, it's the best time of year. Valentine's Day is right around the corner, and why not show your heartfelt appreciation for someone special with some DIY goodies? We've come to, where else, the Martha Stewart headquarters, and we're turning to craft editor at large, Jody Levine. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, welcome to our craft room. Thank you, this is amazing. So who Thanks. is the appropriate recipient for a gift like this? Well, I love to give gifts to friends and coworkers, and I never pull it together in time at holidays, so I feel like I get a little extension, and I do it at Valentine's Day. And they're not expecting something at that time of year, so it's perfect. I so I have it. a few ideas that are great for like making assembly line style in multiples. And one of my favorite materials is felt. I okay. love this wool felt from Pearl Soho. Doesn't it come in such pretty colors? Oh my goodness, they're gorgeous. So, and I like to give really practical gifts. I love a, a little tissue holder because it is winter time. Okay. And that's something you got practical. The sniffles, exactly. Yes. So, and it's so easy. You don't have to be an expert sewer. We have templates for all of these crafts on our website. Okay. And you just take a square of felt like that. Okay. And I've even pinked the edges with a pink shear oh, I if love you want that. to. So then you fold the two ends in and then yeah you can see how I just pin that together and then all you do is stitch up one side and then the other and then you're good to go and then so I even simple. like stamped rubber stamped little messages. I love it. Or anything you could put their name on it. Okay. And then the next one, also great for the cold weather, is a coffee cup cozy. Okay. And it's kind of eco-friendly because you're not, you know, using the little cardboard ones over and over. And then every time they take it out, they'll think of you. So this is one's even easier. It's one strip of felt and you fold it in half and okay. pin it. And then you stitch it up the side. And if you want to, you can cut out a little felt part and glue it on. Oh, I love it. And then you, you know, give it to them with a cup. You could fill, even fill it with candy to present it to the to your Oh my gosh, so one. smart and easy and so easy. Okay. Yeah. Thank so then our me. last felt Valentine present is a lip balm holder cuz chap lips is another wintertime problem, right? Absolutely. Okay, so this is easy. It's just two pieces of felt. You pin it together and we have templates for this as well. You okay. stitch up one side and then um, you'll push this over and stitch up the other side and there you go. And then you can punch a hole and add a little key ring, which you can get at the hardware store. And a little tag that says kisses, kisses. and they're like ready to go. And lip balm helps with kisses. I so love it's perfect. it. perfect, yeah. So great. And then our next idea is taking these muslin bags, which you can find online in a lot of places, okay. and um, using it as a little gift bag for candy or a cute little gift, and I stencil them. And I have this really foolproof way of stenciling using freezer paper, oh. which you can find at the supermarket. Oh my gosh, Yeah, yes. all, every supermarket has it. You see it has one shiny side. Okay. So when you iron that side to fabric, it stays, it adheres, and you can peel it off after, so it makes a really foolproof stencil. And I just want to show you how easy. You can hand cut it like I did for this heart. Okay. Or you could take a craft punch, which makes it even easier. I have a little pre-cut piece of freezer paper. Okay. And I'm gonna put it in the punch. Super easy. So now I have my stencil. How easy was that? Amazing. So then I have one that's already ironed on. I ironed it on with a hot and dry iron. Dry, got okay. it. And now I'm gonna take some fabric paint. So this is a, a, a brush for stenciling. Okay. And you go in a straight up and down motion because you don't want to get the paint underneath the stencil. You want to keep it nice and neat. So you see how I'm ah. just going up and down and up and down. And then, I'm gonna show you how quick and easy that is. Isn't that cute? Gorgeous, oh my gosh. And how uh, quick was that? That was so quick. So you can make tons of them for all your sweethearts. I love and it. And then you can fill it with candy or if you have jewelry or something. And if you want to, you could even switch out the string to make it a little fancier. Oh, I love it. I love these bright yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so fun. And one of my coworkers here at Martha received a flower arrangement from Prudence Designs. Okay. And they had engraved her and her boyfriend's initials on the vase. So Isn't cool. that so cool? Oh it was gosh. so unique. So we had to try it here. Points it, to the boyfriend. Exactly, <laughs> big points. So um, you can buy these at a place called Jamali online or here in New York City. And we used a wood burning tool that's extra credit crafting. Okay. Which, <laughs> yes. But you can get it at any craft store. Okay. And just, you know, we penciled it on first and then and then used the wood burning tool and you could see how it makes so it kind neat. of dimensional. However, if you don't want to go buy a wood burning tool, you don't need to, you can take a brown Sharpie and get the same effect. Perfect. So either way. And then the last thing we have is a really cute and really easy decoration. So um, you know those zip ties you get at the hardware store? Uh-huh. 
and they're everywhere. Who knew that they came in these cute neon colors, right? So cool. So I'm gonna show you how to make a cute heart garland. Okay. So take the end uh -huh. and stick it through the hole, like up and around. Up and around, okay. What am I doing okay. Okay, so once you have the tail a little bit in, then I just pinch the bottom to make the point at the bottom of the heart, and here you have a cute little heart. Oh my gosh. So that if you take your next one and thread it through and make a heart, then you're gonna get a whole garland of them. Yes. And it's just a super quick decoration to make if you're gonna have a Valentine's party. So cool, once you have all of them. I know, and it comes together really quickly. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh, I love that. I think I love all of this stuff, I'm actually. so glad. Thank you so much. I think I'm gonna have a Valentine's Day crafting party. For more tips, tricks, and the latest style news, keep it at youtube.com slash WSJ. You can find me on Twitter at eholmeswsj. And this is just clear. Again, it's filling in those tiny fine lines so that your lipstick doesn't start to travel. Now your skin is ready for moisture. And again, during these dry winter months, you'd want to use something a bit more rich.